Hello everybody, thank you for joining us and happy Friday, happy wellness day. I hope you're all taking a nice little break from your studies and getting some sun. It looks super nice outside. My name is Alex Valencia. I am a student success librarian here at NC State. I work mostly at DHO, but you'll find me at HUD sometimes as well. A lot of my job is revolving around creating programs for you, the students, um, creating events, workshops, um, being in the digital media lab, being at the Ask Us desk, checking out technology. So it's wonderful to be here for you all today. Today we're gonna be playing Breath of the Wild, one of my favorite games of all time, and I haven't even beat it yet because I just got it a couple months ago. I've been playing through it slowly, taking my time, and it's just such a wonderful game. Wanted to share it with you all, and perfect for a wellness day. We might have a special guest, Laura Fontaine, coming into the building. Um, if not in the room, she will be moderating in the chat, so if you have any questions, feel free to throw them in the chat, and we'll get to it. But yeah, thank you for joining us. Um, I got through a little bit of the initial gameplay, and I'm going to be trying to get off of the Great Plateau. Maybe by the end of the two hours, who knows, we'll see. We'll see how much we want to explore. But before I get too far into the game, I just want to let you know that the library is open. We have resources available for you like textbooks, long-term tech lending. We have workshops that are online, asynchronous, um, or over Zoom. And you can find out about all that information on our library's homepage, lib.ncsu.edu. That's where you're gonna find out all the info about our hours. You can reserve an individual study room for you to get some quiet time and study. We have a bunch of floors here at the Hill Library and a bunch of rooms over at the Hunt Library as well. If you need a laptop, you can check out a laptop from our Ask Us desk either for the day or long term for this semester because of COVID, of course. We are doing long term lending laptops. Um, you can check them out for 30 days. You just go to library underscore tech lending at ncsu.edu and they will get back to you with all of your needs. Not just laptops and chargers and calculators and all that good stuff, but also, um, what else do we have? We have DSLR cameras, music equipment. We have anything for your crafts, hobbies, or just for your school projects. So definitely check that out. Check out the Makerspace. They're doing a lot of 3D printing where you can come, submit your 3D print, and then you can come pick it up later at the Ask Us desk. And yeah, I hope you have some fun with us today. We're gonna to be cruising through Hyrule in the Great Plateau. My first fly fly. Oh, we have a request for streaming Genshin Impact. We can definitely do that. For sure. Let's see. This is my first night in Hyrule, y'all. At least on this switch. So I started playing this game about a month ago, and it actually is the first Zelda game that I've ever played. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I guess I'll find out when I go back and play some of the older ones. Um, when I was growing up, I had the Sony PlayStation, so of course no Zelda games were out for that platform. Um, and Zelda's amazing because of all the legendary game franchises like Naughty Dog, Crash Bandicoot, Mario, Zelda, Halo, Call of Duty, like, this is the best of the best. And I was pleasantly surprised, and just overall, this is just a fantastic game. I can't talk enough about this game. I won't bore y'all to death, but if you haven't checked it out, definitely, definitely check it. And I'm sure a lot of you have played through it, so thank you for joining. We have a couple copies at the library, actually, that you can check out. 
our whole video game collection is available to you, and you can take games home for a week at a time, set up some renews if you want, and play through them. Also, if you ever want to request a game that we don't have in our collection, you can do that through our library's webpage as well. What's this guy doing? Hello. I'm sorry to bother you. <laughs> Let's see what we can cook. I don't think I have very much food yet. I'm gonna go scavenge for some items. This is so wild playing through this first part of the game because when I was playing it, because it was my first Zelda game, I had nothing, no preconceptions of what the world was gonna be like. Oh, or what the game would entail. And so everything was just totally brand new. And it was such a, it was so cool to just like stumble across things like bird eggs and hogs for the first time. I'll never forget that. Now I only have three hearts and one stamina wheel. What am I going to do? This is our, I think, our first stream of Breath of the Wild, but we have a bunch of people um, with different expertises in the library who play this game and are really big fans of it. So I think for Earth Day, we're going to plan a roundtable discussion slash stream gameplay where we can all talk about the game and share our different perspectives. Because as you know, if you play this game or if this is your first time hearing about it, ooh, what a shot. Um, once you get off the Indigo Plateau, the, not Indigo Plateau, different Legendary Plateau. Once you get off the Great Plateau, the game is yours. There's no linear storyline. You can play the game at your own whim, and there's a bunch of different ways you can navigate the map, do different shrines. Um, for me, I just like to explore everything, so instead of focusing on the main quest, I would try to find shrines all over, try to find the tower so I could see more of the map. Um, and then go back and kind of savor the main quest and do a bunch of side quests as well. Ooh, look at this game. Let's see. If you're listening and you play in the chat, do you, are you stealthy? Do you try to infiltrate the camps with that as little noise as possible, or do you just go and make a bunch of noise and be rambunctious? Kind of like a mix of both. You ever wonder if the goblins are just chilling peacefully and they're like, why is this person shooting arrows at us? Let's defend our little camp. <laughs> well, one thing I do like to do is let them shoot arrows so I can pick them up. And if I had known how to play this game when I first started, I would have a lot more arrows. So I was just wasting them. Stealth till you can't. Stealth's hard for me. Sometimes I like just throwing a bomb in the middle and then running around while they all chase me, but I need to work on my stealth skills for sure. My stealth skills and my, my tools, and the perfect dodge is hard for me as well. Probably explains why the limos are always kicking my butt. Yeah, if you have any other games that you'd like to see a stream on the wellness days or just on any given day, throw them in the chat. Hey. And again, uh, our, one of our specialists, Colin Keenan, we were talking about this earlier. There's the design layout of this game to kind of give you clues but not hold your hand throughout the game is amazing. They'll give you little clues and hints that you can either take or not, like leaving brush by a fire to see if you're gonna set it off. 
um, leaving little clues and hints along the area, along the way. And when I was first finding out this camp, I didn't find any of those. I was just kind of stumbling my way through. We're not having a paraglider either. I'll try, but I don't think I can make it up there yet. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Close. I think I probably could do it actually. But I'll come back to it. Let's go find some more tools. I think I saw a shrine up here. Bump, 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 bump. Yeah, like I was saying, I played, let's see, Pokemon, Mario Kart, all the all the standard games, nothing super crazy. Crash Bandicoot. Um, a little bit of GTA, and all those games have a linear storyline where you go from point A to point B to point C to point D, and you can't skip ahead. This game is totally up to you. If you want to go fight the boss, you can go fight the boss. You're probably not going to do very well um, until you have all the right tools and tools and skills, but it's like totally up to you, and it's something I really love about this game. If you look at the map, I like, look at this. This is crazy. Move this mouse a little bit. You go mushroom hunting. You can forage for berries and food. I just, I can't say enough about this game. I actually heard um, the target when they're scanning new materials in, the target employees. It sounds kind of like when a shrine is nearby. And I got really nerded out and like really excited when I heard that. There it is. Let's drop a pen in this one. Come back to it. One thing that is funny is I'll have a target like this shrine right here, and then I'll get distracted by the littlest things to be like, ooh, what's that? Ooh, what's that? Ooh, what's that? And then five days later, I'll be like, oh yeah, I was trying to get to that shrine. I probably should do some cooking. I always wait until <laughs> the very last minute before I start cooking. And then I'll spend like 30 minutes cooking. My partner was very confused when I was explaining to her that I have to cook in this game in order to accomplish certain things. I remember when I first started, these little captains were so hard. They were so difficult. And when you first get off the, the plateau, and you're wondering to yourself, like, how am I ever going to beat these folks? And then pretty soon you get enough skills to play enough. Let's see what I what do I have? I need some peach. I know I need some chili peppers at some point. Couple more. Let's see if I have enough for an elixir. 
Isn't that jingle amazing when you're cooking? It's so nice. Like, I know you can skip it, but it really doesn't save much time, and I always just end up listening to the whole thing. Oh, uh, I like pretending to, like, what I would eat. So steak and eggs with some chocolate milk. Hey! Special guest in the building, we have Hi. Laura Fontaine. We are masked up and socially distant, uh, but it's good to have you. It's hard to carry a conversation by yourself. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. How's it coming through in the video? Good. Everything sounds good. Nice. I was just talking to the void. <laughs> I know. Streaming and just chatting with yourself is hard. Let's see. Let's see. So, Laura, you've played through this game. Yes, I have. A couple times, right? Mm-hmm. For it's the Wii U game. and the Switch. This is my first time playing on a TV, in a very nice TV at that. And I'm a little jealous. I only have the Switch Lite, so of course I can only play on my, my console. But this is nice. I know, it looks so good. Doesn't it? Yeah. And like, look at this. Like, yeah. Love it. It's so beautiful. Like what game gives you the whole like a whole three sixty view of what the game's gonna be before you even get there? Yeah. It's I incredible. also like can we talk about too how like there are like there's like very minimal loading screens. Like there's loading screens when you go into shrines. Yep. But really I feel like like you just can go anywhere and you don't have to worry about something loading up or whatever. Um, it's just so seamless. Yeah, if you're if you're just traveling from town to town, like on a horse, you can just go through the whole game with no loading. Yeah. And with the back screen. It's just so easy to just like, this is such a chillax game. Isn't it? Yeah, way more chillax than Mario Kart. <laughs> Last time we had a noise complaint because we were screaming. And by we, I mean Lara. <laughs> <laughs> Playing Mario Kart. So today, it's a wellness day. It feels like spring outside. Has, is it the, officially the first day of spring or is that later in March? Oh, I think that's later. Later in March. But yeah, it is in March. Feels good outside. It's Friday. It's been a long week. I think I need some chili peppers if I want to get over to the snow zone. I think you Let's go ahead this way. Hello, everybody. If you're just joining us, this is the library it's playing Breath of the Wild. The library is open. We're open on the weekends. We're going to be announcing summer hours pretty soon. So keep an eye out for that and come check us out. It's pretty empty most of the time. Um, and we have all of the workstations socially distant. You can check out a room that's individual use so you can get your own space. And we have um, a lot of staff helping out clean the building as well. There's something at the top of that building. We're just going to kill all of the cobbles. <laughs> I love the bone arrow. Especially the ice, the ice arrow. Oh, it's yeah, so yeah, fun. yeah. I try to save them. Do you have motion controls on, or? I don't think so. What's that? It's, uh, it's, so like, when we were, when I was playing this on the Switch, um, and on the Wii U, the motion controls, like you have to like move the controller to aim, uh -huh. um, uh. which is really interesting and cool. I liked it, but my partner did not like it when he was born. Yeah, that's kind of like the the whole idea behind the new game that's or the remake of was it Skyward Sword? Oh yeah 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 yeah. That's coming out. Oh my gosh. Because it came out for the Wii initially, uh -huh. and it was like the first use of most motion controls. And then they're remaking it for the Switch with the idea that you can use like, the, the motion control. Yeah, that's one I've never played before. I'm super excited for that one. Nice. I know, I'm, I'm a fan. 
So anytime there's a remake, or if I can just go back and buy the old version, I'm going back. I've heard Ocarina of Time, I need to play that. The Mask, Marjorie. Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask. I remember the first time I found out that you could get fish. I don't think I have. Oh, you should jump in that up. Uh... In, in, in that circle of, uh, of lily pads. Uh -huh. If you go up to the top of the rock and jump down in it, mm -hmm. I think you might have to use the other rock. That's what the circle is for, huh? Yeah, oh. So. Uh, I'm really bad backseat gamer. So no, no you worries. Don't want spoilers. I, uh, I've been trying to throw rocks into the circles. Nah, you gotta drop into it. See? Yeah. See? And that's that's another thing. We're just gonna talk about how much we love this game. <laughs> there's so many different little like quirks that you can do. Yeah, there's so much stuff. And like you just like discover it, yeah. you know? And it's like, ah! I love that feeling when you're validated on a, like, a weird idea that you have. Yeah. Where it's like, well, let me, I don't think there's anything here, but let me check. And you do it, and it's like there's a treasure chest, or there's a seed, and you're like, yes. <laughs> I'm way off course from what I intended to do, but that was worth it. I also love how there are like so many different hey. ways that you can um, complete the shrines. Yeah. Like, there isn't just, there's like, you can do so many different types of things. There's that one shrine that's like a maze. Like you have to control tilt the maze, and there's a ball, and you have to get it to go to the other side. Yeah. I just flipped the controller over until it was like on the flat side of the maze, and then just had it go there and launched it. The ball drops, and then you use it as like a ramp. Yeah. I just finished that shrine, and the motion controls for the for the light. Yeah. I think they're like really well <laughs> well done. So it's so frustrating, and I spent like 20 minutes. And then I saw a video of someone do what you just described after, and I was like, well. Could have done that. Uh. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's so much fun. There's a couple things where um, I'll look at like the guides, but for the most part, I try to just try to figure it out on my own. It's more fun. Yeah, that's definitely just try a bunch more of things fun. But sometimes I'm, I'm a. I frequently use guides yeah. for games. <laughs> yeah. I get so frustrated after a while. I'm like, I just need to know how to do this. And my thing, I don't want to miss anything. That's like, Anything like really fun that, that could Also, like, it. I don't want to make the wrong decision. <laughs> like, I don't want to mess stuff up. It's such a beautiful game too. Yeah. Like it makes me want to go hiking, makes me want to climb mountains. Like, uh, have you been to, what's it called? Is it Eagle Rock? There's a lookout point that's a little bit past Goldsboro. It's like oh. a really nice view. I forget what it's called. I'll look it up. Yeah, that's something I haven't done yet down here is go to the mountains at all. Yeah, check um. out Asheville and Bloom. I've never been there either. Yeah. I want to go back to the Eno River when it's open, when it's spring. Is it hard for you to watch people play games? Um, Cause you want to play. No, not exactly. Like I, I got into video games by watching my brother play uh -huh. games, and that's kind of like how we, like, worked. You know, like I would watch him play games, and then I would tell him like what to do and where to go, and we'd like play together in a way. Yeah. Um. So I enjoy watching people play games, but that's also why I'm always like. I can tend to be very vocal and be like, wait, 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 did you do that thing? Wait, did you go over there? Go look at this. Try this. Try that. Um, but. What was the first co-op game that you guys got to play together? 
Uh, let's see. I think Ra I mean, it wasn't, I don't think we've ever really, well, co-op, so we played a lot of games, we played a lot of games against each other. Uh -huh. so a lot of like racing, Diddy Kong Racing was like the first game we played. Nice. And then Smash, and all that stuff. The first co-op game we played uh, <laughs> was Gears of War. Oh, that's an intense <laughs> game. I, especially, yeah. especially playing with you, I can see you screaming commands. I'm yes. like, get behind, get behind. That's fun. Yes, and I was really bad, so mostly it was my brother yelling at me. <laughs> uh, but I would just like to chainsaw people. That was cool. That so, was yeah, a huge was, game when it launched. Wow. I know. Cool. It's a while ago. I'm dating myself now. <laughs> but yeah, Gears of War was the first co-op. I remember when they came out with like hordes for Gears of War. Yeah. And there was just waves and waves of the was it Alien the game the one? I don't one? even know. Like <laughs> I things think you had to fight. So. They were weird. So. It was cool. Creatures, though. yeah. And really like you just get really into it. It was so fun. Yeah. Video games are still obviously the best thing. <laughs> the best thing ever. But as a kid playing video games, so much joy. Especially with friends when they are allowed to come over or if you could go on a sleepover and they had different games than you had. Yeah. Uh -oh. Actually, oh, Gears of War was not the first co-op game. You just reminded me with the friends coming over. So we used to have this friend well, it was my brother's friend, but he, like, lived behind our house, like, in the house behind our house. We uh -huh. didn't, like, live in, like, the wilderness behind our house. But, um, so, so we would hang out with him a lot, and he had, uh, what was it? Was it Goldeneye? Yes. Some, some James Bond game for the GameCube. Uh-huh. Was it Goldeneye? Goldeneye was N64. Oh, no, I got I'm not idea. sure if they... Um, was it, did you play Perfect Dark? Did I play what? Oh, Perfect it was Dark. Nightfire, Nightfire. Yeah, so we would play, um, like, Capture the Flag, um, yeah. or, uh, um, I don't remember what the other ones were, but yeah, that game, that game we would play co-op, or we play against each other. It always would end up just being us messing around on the map, yeah. and running around and finding things, and, like, know being ridiculous but that that was the first co-op have you ever gone back and looked at the graphics of those games no but i'm <laughs> going to it right now it's so chunky like even double dash mario kart was so that was me oh, and my yeah, little that was another one too yes and it, it just seemed like top of the line which it was at that time but you go back to it inside compared to breath of the wild Ooh, this one's cool i love that game put the a on on high difficulty, it was insane. Yeah, I don't think I did that. <laughs> I don't think I put it on high difficulty. Um, but yes, Nightfire, that was good. Um, maybe we did, I don't know. But yeah, it was hard. It's so fun. Captain I just remember the snowy so map and like going across on the like ski lift thing. Yeah. And, yeah, and Capture the Flag was just so... When someone has the flag and you're like trying to get them back to your side and you're just screaming and screaming. <laughs> You know what's a skill with streaming, um, and you you stream a little bit on the side is being able to play and stream and like talk through the stream at the yes. same time. Like, yes. Instead of just being quiet while you focus on the game, that's yeah. hard. Yeah, it is really hard. I um, I started recently started streaming. Um, I I recently started streaming um, Borderlands. Uh huh. And um, that game, I noticed, like, I just get so into it because you're constantly fighting people. Yeah. And, like, I just, like, I feel so bad because I, I neglect my chat. Because <laughs> I'm just like, oh, my God, I'm sorry. I'm, like, so focused. And, like, even, like, I play with my friends online. Like, even the, the chatter between us, like, stops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're all focused. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's like... One, playing the piano is already hard enough, but people who can play the piano and sing at the same time, it's not yeah. fair. It's not fair. I feel yeah. like this uses some of those same brain muscles. 
Somebody said that uh, in Nightfire you could play as Odd Job and throw a hat as a weapon, which I remember that. Yeah, so that was hilarious. Wasn't it like a one kill too? I think if you hit someone with your hat, like I feel like it was a little OP. I'm surprised they haven't remade some of those. I they know. Were so, they were so quirky. And it's so kind of Remember the karate shop? Like, you could karate shop yes. people with your hand. Yes. Yeah. One hit KO, yeah. <laughs> so great. Actually, I love that this game like rewards you for just thinking outside of the box. Yeah. It's not like, nope, you can't do that, or like, that's out of bounds. It's, all right, if, if you can reach the apple, then you reach the apple. Right. There's no one way to do it. Three. Two orbs. Lara's taking control of the sticks and will take us on the next leg of our journey. All right. No One hit KO. And then there was a bunch of little cheat codes you could put. Yeah. Uh, I remember this was specifically with Perfect Dark, but I think um, GoldenEye too, you could like make people smaller or like their heads really big. Uh, you could do a whole bunch of things. A Nintendo Switch Golden Eye remake would be so much fun with really good graphics. Yeah. So, what was your strategy? Did you find the shrines? Did you find the towers? Did you do the main quest? How did you go about it? Um, to be honest, I don't remember too much. I know I at first was doing the, I think mostly doing the main quest, but then mm -hmm. I got to a point where I just kind of like. Right, you don't have the glider, do you? No, not yet. And it won't give you. There you go. Oh, 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 these little tips were super helpful too on the loading yeah, screen. Yeah, they were. All right, I'm not gonna jump down. I'm just gonna try to get down slowly. Did you do this one already? Uh, no. I'm trying. I played this on the Wii U, so I'm trying to remember. There we go. See, like how you get the shrine, hey. and then they tell you how to do this. How do I get? Oh my god. <laughs> And they show you how to use it in the in the out in the wild. I broke I broke the sword. It's worth it. Cause now I have a bow. Alright. We're gonna get down. We're gonna climb down. How the heck did you get up here? Oh shoot. I'm not sure. Oh shoot. <laughs> oh shoot. Get out of here. Get out of here. We have a, an advisory with some of our state of sound Twitch oh, sessions oh, with language, and we're gonna get you one too. That way we can say whatever we want. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> we probably should do that. All right, we're gonna try to climb down again. And this time I am not gonna jump off and let go. I remember playing video games with my older cousin. He would always trick us and be like, you can just jump down. But as long as you double tap on the way down, you'll be good. I don't think this is gonna, oh, <laughs> And we'd always fall for it and end up falling to our deaths. Oh my gosh. Oh, I and then when you when you would get orbs, would you go hearts first or stamina, or would you balance it out? Uh, mostly hearts. I didn't okay. spend too much on stamina. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, I would do stamina a little bit, but I was all about, I really wanted to get the master sword, and so you need a certain amount of hearts to get the master sword. Ooh. Have you done that yet? No, oh, not yet. Yeah, so 
No, uh, don't worry about any spoilers. Because even if you talk about things, it's like, it's about the how you get there. I'm like nervous to let go, but probably gonna let go. Let's do it. Sometimes that's all you need. I remember I tried to climb up this way and I just kept falling when I first started. Ah, look at that. Nice. Smooth. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> the fires too much. Like say my don't. Own, but sometimes I do. Oh, I remember doing this but also exciting. This was hard. Uh yeah my partner did it. How do you jump over? Oh, oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that was sketchy. I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh wait, how do you stealth again? How do you crack? I forget. How do you crack? God, it's been so long. There we go. Catch these fireflies. Catching the fireflies. That's another thing I do is like to fill space when I'm streaming <laughs> and I just start singing. I do that in normal life too. So. <laughs> I do that. Gonna go take a shower. <laughs> take a shot. <laughs> All right, we're gonna cook. So hey, oops, no, I don't want to. We should do just do. We should have a small like five minute segment where it's like cooking in high roll with Laura Fontaine, and then you just talk about your ingredients, but they're all digital. Yes. Okay. So uh, we are going to have some take some raw meat. Oh, did you take the raw meat? Take the raw meat. Okay. Got some raw meat, some stamina mushroom. Maybe another, oh, we only got one, so, but we'll add some herbs to it and um, an apple, and that should be delicious. That sounds good. Cook. Lean cuisine. Hey. Ooh. Energizing I steamed meat. I made so many dubious meals in the beginning because oh I was just trying to make different things. Funny. Ooh, make some let's, chili peppers. So let's make some snow. chili peppers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy that pays you a bunch of money for these mushrooms. Yep. And I'm so mad that I haven't been collecting a lot of them. <laughs> 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 I feel like they're. Ooh. Uh -oh. Ooh, he's coming. Excuse me! Oh. <laughs> Got it. Can't get me! Can't get me! Let's break some stuff. What's in here? You know what's one of my favorite is the uh, the honeycomb. When you get to go take some honey from the from the bees. Oh yeah. Oopsies. <laughs> how do you bring your how do you get your bow out? The uh, oh uh oh, right, right got here. It. Yeah. yeah, look at that. One shot.
wish there was treasure just die right around. away. <laughs> I know. I wish that was warm up. Too. That was warm up. Yeah, yeah. I was just uh, in use of these controls. Been a while. Been caught up in PC gaming world. Yeah. I don't PC game. In oh, here minutes. it is. Here it is. You were just there talking about it. Honeycomb. And I know you can do like strategic. You can like smoke them out. Oh, can you? Oops, I didn't mean to throw that, but we're gonna do Let's it. Let's try it. Hey. Ah! Oh, they're not coming after me. Okay, okay. Let's shoot it down. Go, 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 go. Ah! Wait, I don't, I don't have any weapons. <laughs> uh, we'll use this arm. Oh shoot, oh shoot. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Got it. Do you use a game controller or do you use the the keypad on your PC? Uh the keyboard. For this game? For any games. Oh. Or do you go back and forth? I go back and forth. Yeah. Um but this game I use the uh, pro controller. Ooh, bomb arrow. Nice. Uh, yeah, so I, I go back and forth, and then this one I use Pro Controller um, for the Switch. Because it's what I'm using. Yeah. Alright, we need to figure out where is the snow? What am I doing? Let's, yeah, let's, let's actually look at where I'm supposed to go. Over here, right? Yeah, I think it's uh, Mount Hyala. Hylia. Hylia. Oh, okay. Gee, there's a little ways. What's the easiest way to get there? Whoa. All right, we're going to climb up. No, <laughs> Stop doing that. I just got the camera in my game, so now I have to go back and take pictures of it. Oh yeah, I love that. It was a cool feature. I liked it. I liked it. I need that one. Aha! Here it is, here it is, here it is. Okay, okay, I got this, I got this. So, I'm gonna eat... Um, I'm gonna cook some more. Wait, I'm gonna get some. I think there are some like right by this thing. Do you think you can make it through this whole game just being vegetarian? Oh, have you seen people do that before? No. It's a I, thing. I figured it would be a thing. Um, I don't think I can do it. Yeah. Uh, but there are people who have done it. Because I do feel um, bad sometimes shooting like the elf. They're so beautiful. And then yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. That oh, is true. I do like that gourmet steak, though. Ooh. <laughs> Is that going to give you a bunch of time? Have you defeated Dumbledore yet? <laughs> Dumbledore. <laughs> Talking about the, nice. the Grouchy King. The Grouchy, Grouchy King. Uh, where am I? I think I have one more pepper. Ooh, let's put some honey with this pepper. We'll make it real sweet. Sweet hot peppers, right? That's a thing. Honey fruits? Ooh. Okay. I don't think I made that one. And that didn't give me any heat or cold <laughs> resistance though. I, I just that. wasted that. All right, let's eat these. All right, here we go. Are you ready to race through? Uh, no. I'm not Are ready you all. ready? Here we go. Oh, don't I need a leaf for this? Uh, I think there's a way you can get it across on the other side if you head down. See, and the hard part is, oh, here's the leaf. No, can you 
jump and get the leaf. Dang it! I don't have enough. What? Room. Ugh. <laughs> I um, usually do that too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but throwing them works too. Oh, you don't have any flint. Okay. So let's get that Korok leaf and go across. Ooh. Yeah, how are we going to get over there? Oh, we're just going to run. Okie dokie, here we go. Forget the Korok. <laughs> oh, we have to find Ron first. Uh, that's good. <laughs> Same thing with your mask today. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm wearing the Harry Potter mask. Oh, no! Wait. Nope, those things are gonna freeze me. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Do you use the jellies? Uh, like when you get the fire one? No. Me neither. I don't. Ah! <laughs> get out of here! Get out of here! Yeah, I don't. I never used them. I know there's like really creative ways you can use them, but yeah. I don't really know how. I usually use them to sell at the market. You don't get very much, but if you have hundreds of them, <laughs> you can get some nice pieces. True, true. Okie dokie, get out of here. You got any goods for me? Hey. Give me them goods. Oh, shoot. Ooh. I don't have that thing. Oh, look, there's one already there. I can do it. Oh, oh no, 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 no! <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> This Ron, part took me forever. Ron is in Mount Doom. <laughs> we're not going to well, I don't think it, We're not going to be able to make it there today. Nope. Maybe next time. Dang it. I know, it'd be cool to continue this whole game. Wait, do I have the magnetics segments. though? Yeah, you have the magnetics. Oh! Though. What? Why didn't you <laughs> tell me that before? I wanted to see what you would do. Oh my god. But I thought you were trying to, <laughs> I thought you were going to slide that one over. That's what I thought you were trying to do. Oh no, I forgot that you have magnets. We have the magnet and the stasis. Those are the two that we have so far. Oh, Only one stamina wheel. Yeah. Life is tough when you're first well, yeah. starting out in this game. <laughs> oh gosh. Get away from me, jelly guy. Nope. Not getting frozen today. Not happening. Thank you for tuning in. I highly recommend checking out some of our older streams too that are in our library on our Twitch. We've done some really cool events. There's a lot of maker space, a lot of VR, and uh, there's a mask making workshop in there. There's some state of sound. So definitely give that a, a peek when you can. No. Ooh, nice. That took me forever. Heck yeah. Woo! Smooth. Alright. We gotta go. We gotta go. Oh, there's a button. Okay. Whoops. Ah, I keep pressing the wrong button. <laughs> I'm so used to playing PlayStation, and I'm pretty sure the, like, B button is, is opposite. It's different, huh? Yeah, actually, it's a when I was younger, I never really thought into how much design focus goes into controllers. 
but you remember like the spaceship controller for the N64, the huge Xbox controller when it came out, and it oh, was like yeah. the size of a Subway sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> and then now I think they've done really good. They kind of figured it out. Gosh, two minutes left of resistance. <laughs> it's gonna start getting real cold. No, I want to get there before I have to use the other one so that I can use the other one to get back. <laughs> uh, it should be here, right? Should, Where's yeah, the, the shrine? I think it's behind that rock. Oh my gosh, what the heck? <laughs> oh no, uh -oh. what? Uh -oh. What? Oh, you're being ambushed. Oh god, oh god. They're just dancing. Uh oh. oh. Not again. I'm not getting in trouble again. <laughs> hey. Destroyed. Destroyed. Yeah, I used to really like the TNT barrels, but I don't really use them as much. Um, I usually throw bombs at them and then blow them up that way. That's usually, I like that too. I think the bomb's my favorite. Yeah. I like Those dropping them and then running. Get, right? I, probably, well, I don't know. I don't know which one this one. I made it! Hey. I love when you find a shrine in the distance. You like slowly make your way over there. You like yeah. see the bright orange. Oh, I don't know if I told you this yet, but um, if we could do an Earth Day Breath of the Wild discussion on Ground Table and bring in like Neil, Colin, you, me, like, yeah, any, that'd be anybody cool. else who'd be interested. I wonder if Alexa played Breath of the Wild. And then we could just talk about it and like switch, like who's playing, It'd be a lot of fun. I think it's like April 22nd or something like that. Oh no, this is probably the ice one. When do you get the bomb? That's what we should find next. Feel the pressure when you're when you're streaming, the people watching you uh, while you're playing. We'll go back and get your hair. A little bit. Hey, one more spirit orbs. Yay! Do you watch this or do you skip through it? I usually skip it. <laughs> Another fun one was the, what are the bandits called when they, they pop up? 
Oh, and the Yiga clan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just infiltrated their their lair. Oh, you and did? Had to sneak around. Oh yeah. my gosh. It was a lot of fun. That was fun. But now they're the popping point. up all over the place. Yeah. But at least they use rubies. True, true. And lots of bananas. Yeah, lots of bananas. They really like bananas. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Let's see. I think if we make it to the top of that. We get a special treat. Do we? I think bef if you get to the top of it before you get the shrine, it gives you the warm, the warm clothes. Oh. I think. Let's see if we can make it. Ooh, 12 minutes. Nice. What was that? Somebody's throwing snowballs at you. We'll let them live. Mm -hmm. I got the, uh, I went to the desert town, is it Guerto, Guerto town? Uh-huh. And got the, the amulet that keeps you from getting cold around your head. And now I can go through all the, the cold areas. Nice. Yeah, that's a good one. Sometimes that happens where I'm like, there has to be something here. And I'll spend a bunch of time getting there, and it's like, there's not much. Oh! Hey! I hope he doesn't just tell me about pins. I think he might. <laughs> I feel like you have to cook something to get the warm doublet. Or if you, he tells you, who, or like he'll tell you, oh! Hey! What? What? Yeah, I saw. Gosh dang it! I saw a thing, and it was like, if you make it I, after I had gotten all the shrines and waited for for him to give it to me, I saw that you could make if you make it up here before, he'll give it to you. Oh. Also, is there? There's not a seed up here. I don't think so. Yes, not. All right. Well, let's go find another shrine. There's one. Do you use the pins? Uh, yeah. I, I use it for things like I want to go explore, but I don't have the time at the moment. I guess this record will be saved on the Switch and we can come back and pick up where we left off, right? Yeah, it should be. Didn't you? What game are you playing for the next the next stream? Uh, I am playing The Sims. Nice. And I'm going to try to build the library in The Sims. Are you? Yes. That's awesome. Yes. We'll see <laughs> how it turns out. I'm a little nervous. It should be good. That's cool. Something down there. Don't mind me. I 
feel like there was something behind that waterfall. done with the, the bay there's like the town but that's by the, the water mm -hmm. and there's so much treasure in the water oh yeah 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 yeah. that like random town that really doesn't have like <laughs> yeah much. much going on yeah with that with the main cliff yeah Can you furnish it with like the chairs that we have? Well, that's what we're trying to figure out. I was able to find, you can download custom content for The Sims, and yeah. I was able to find some custom content that of some of the chairs. So, um, yeah, we're gonna see, we're gonna use that. If not, oh well. That's what I gotta do, I have to download a bunch of custom content this weekend. Nice. And The Sims is literally, I, I've never played The Sims. I've seen people play it back in the day. But you build your own world, right? Yeah, you create characters and, and you can build houses and furnish houses and they can also do just like a simulation game. Like they, you can get like pets and depending on what expansions you have, different things. So how do you, how do you do good in the game? Uh, it really depends. Like some people are really into the building aspects of the game, and they yeah. build like beautiful like houses and and different buildings and stuff. Uh -huh. um, and then some people are really into like the playing like the Sims like people life stuff. Yeah. Um, I always create myself as a person nice. and like live out my little life. Um, <laughs> they're like your your Sims can have different aspirations and and goals that they're trying to achieve, like, you know, the highest level of a certain career track or whatever. There really is no, like, winning. There's no right right way to play the game. Yeah, it's you can different. just play. That's cool. Yeah. I remember my buddy had Roller Coaster Tycoon mm -hmm. back in 2000. You had to build your own amusement park. And depending on how you built your amusement park would determine how many people came to visit. Yeah. Like if they spent more money, then you could build better rides and, like, it was like The Sims, but just for your own amusement park. Yeah, I used and to play Roller Coaster Tycoon too, um, and then I would like, <laughs> I would like punish the people who were grumpy <laughs> in the bar um, by like you know either deleting the path around them so they would wander around, or uh -huh. like you know maybe dump them in a lake so then they would drown. Yeah. <laughs> So I love Roller Coaster Tycoon. Yeah, it was a great game. And then there was Zoo Tycoon. Yup. And then, um, I think those are the only two that I can remember that I played. Classic. Yeah. But The Sims is like the ultimate simulator, right? That's yeah. That's like the one. That's so cool, yeah. still me. Yeah, I don't want to fight that dude. Oh no, not these. I still have to be one of these. I need to be able to. Fortunate. 
Good job, good job. Claire says, I was not very good at it. I spent all my money on flower gardens and balloon stands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> the customers were not satisfied, Claire. That's hilarious. What a funny game, though. We could have Library Tycoon, where you build the most expensive, beautiful library. Yeah. Are you excited about Pokemon's version of open world? I am. I am pretty excited. Um, I'm excited because doesn't it go back to like um, an older generation area? Yeah. yeah. The Sinnoh region, right? Um, which I think is, I didn't play that. But I think it was the one after the I like went up to the Johto region. Uh huh. Um, and so, anyways, I've been out of the Pokemon game for a while, so it'll be cool to like go back to it with this game, and it's not like too far out. So there's gonna, I mean, there'll probably still be a bunch of Pokemon I don't recognize, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm excited too. It it makes perfect sense. Yeah. I'm really interested to see what it's going to look like. I know, and they do have a lot to live up to. I know a lot of people were comparing it to Breath of the Wild, um, which is fair in a sense, I guess. Because yeah. it <laughs> the trailer looked oddly similar with like the, but it is outside in, like, in nature. The real question is when is Breath of the Wild 2 coming out? True. Do you have a guess? No, I have no <laughs> guess whatsoever. And I'm not hopeful that it's coming out this year, even though some people are saying that. Yeah, Neil was saying idea one is holiday 2021, holidays. Mm -hmm. um, if not, then summer 2022 is what his guess is. I guess we'll have to see. Yep. One thing I do do with bombs is destroy myself. Uh. Yep. <laughs> there was one shrine that I just could not do and it was because of the motion controls. I had to like light a torch on each side of the cube and I didn't have any fire arrows and I was very disappointed. But I eventually came back and was able to do it with the fire arrows, not with the, with the controls. Wait, I think there's only four. There's only four. Isn't oh, there? there's only four? Because 
Because you need four orbs to go to the goddess. I'm gotcha. pretty sure. So I think, yeah, here he comes. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Extraordinary. It's so fun to dive in this world for, you know, like 15 to 45 minutes before, like, you have to go out or do a Zoom call. It's such a nice break. Where two lines connect. I know, it's like a wellness day for us and everyone else. Let's go get some more. struggle for more arrows. Right? Nothing's worse than when you're, you come across something cool and you don't have enough arrows. Yeah. This bow is terrible. It's big. Didn't do anything. bomb and then they like fly all over your place. Like, mm. I know. <laughs> I like, so I love doing the, when you're in the, that skull thing, I like standing on top of the skull and uh -huh. like dropping the bomb into the, to the eyeball yeah. and having it roll in while they're sleeping and then just like exploding them constantly. And they're like, where is she? <laughs> Ooh, fire arrow. Yeah. I kind of, I kind of love that you're just beating them with a stick. Master sword. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need Master Sword. Yeah, this is super early on in the game where we don't have the Master Sword yet, but so all we really got is sticks <laughs> and zombie hands. More arrows, more arrows. Oh yeah, we're supposed to meet with him to give us our paraglider, but I want to go get some more treats. Just the beautiful night sky. I like catching the sunrise when you're like by the bay. Yeah. Like four in the morning, it's so nice. There's so many like cool little things yeah, in huh. this game like that.
Oh, shoot. He dropped it. <laughs> Thank you for playing with us. Yeah, no That's problem. Fun. This is fun. Yeah, we gotta do this. Again. Yeah, well now we have this on here we can continue yeah. playing. I'll be I'll be here through chat. Alright. More arrows, my lord. Shoot more arrows. More arrows. Shoot more arrows. Oh, not at me. You're not supposed to hit me. I love these little guys. Let's go get some treasure. Again, can't speak highly enough of the design layout of this game. It's absolutely fantastic. We can head down to the bottom world, but why? There's so much more to explore. Ah! power. Um, I was surprised that you can use it in kind of like the toxic swamp too. But yeah, you can use ice power. And then you can do three at a time. And you can make it all the way across the water. Let's go see what's in these woods. They definitely need to make a respectable avatar game. Ah! Come here. You can see it in here. Did anybody rewatch Avatar when they put it on Netflix? I did. Isn't there supposed to be something up here? Can't see me. Huh. 
shoot arrows at me. The throwing arm's not, not the greatest. That's for sure. I don't usually use the throwing, like the throwing spear, but today it's been fun. Let's see what else is in these woods. <laughs> Angry farmer coming to get all the animals that kept stepping all over his fruits and veggies. All right, let's have some fun. Let's see if we can do this. 29 arrows. Mushroom. Mushroom. Ah! Precious stones. Uh oh. I'm running out of weapons. Ah! Ooh. There it is. Stop moving. No! <laughs> Do I have any stamina this is I could probably use that. Let's see. Far shot. There it is. There it is. Lovely. Lovely. No. Oh. Got 
Stop moving so fast. Let me hit you. treasure we could have just been friends and split the treasure in half but you had to try to kill me and now I've returned you to where once you came more eggs for me I think there was something cool along the rocks I love when you see little platforms like this, because it's like, hey, maybe you should check me out. Ooh, another camp. Small treasure. Let's see. Is there nobody over here? Let's see what's over here. Think if I have some fire, I don't have. all the weapons I needed might have burnt up in that fire. Yeah. Olympics 2021 Japan. Ha! Treasure. 
I love gold. Hey, more fire hours. Nice. I'm so excited for this link because he has no idea what adventures lie ahead of him. He just started his new quest. Slowly, slowly. I don't know if y'all have had the chance to check out the new updated remodel Carmichael gym, but there's a huge rock, rock wall, rock climbing wall inside of there. Um, that's pretty cool. They have the one where you can no. I was so close. They can. They have the one where you can do it freestyle with no harness, and then they have the one that goes up really high. Um, where you do strap in and then they can teach you how to use it. It's pretty cool. Let's see if I make it this time. We are coming to you live and direct from the Virtual Reality Lab. The Virtual Reality Lab at NCSU Libraries is really, really cool. It's greatly staffed by both faculty and student workers. Um, there's a bunch of towers in here. Right now it's a little bit limited in access, but I think it's gonna be opening up pretty soon. And they are doing workshops and they're doing a lot of streams online, so definitely check them out. And stop by once you're on campus. Go find the guy. Let's go get our paraglider. No bueno. I did not mean to do that. I wonder if it saved after I got that seat. I hope so. Absolutely dreadful. Good. Let's try this again. There we go. Slowly, slowly, steady. How far do I have to go? I'm way up here. Yep, it's time to go get the parachute. Sneak up on the bugs. I don't have the patience. How many arrows do I have? Night is falling.
Sometimes the swamp is just a swamp. Sidetrack. Where is it? There it is. <coughs> Try to sneak up on me. This is the original cave. Okay. What is it? Who knows? We're going on a quest to get a treasure chest. My name is Link. I move my sword so fast, please don't blink. Sorry. Gotcha. Is he up there? I think he's up there. Run. Go towards that shiny thing. Gonna go towards the shiny thing. See if it brings me lots of things. Let's go with a heart container. Look how beautiful it is. You are the chosen one, Link. The funny thing about this game is that the princess tells you like, please hurry, hurry, we need to save Hyrule. And then you spend most of your time like chasing chickens around and throwing pots. There he is. I'm coming, I'm coming old man. Do 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 Just me and my boko club Wanna get a parachute Story. 
She's been waiting a hundred years. The great she could wait like was ten more days. It devastated While I learned how to ride horses. Path, lo, a century ago. Not even. It was then that my life was taken. You froze me for a hundred years? You sure I was cool time, with this? Here I have remained in spirit form. What? I did Teach not me. think it wise to overwhelm That's you a while cool your memory was still fragile. So Absolutely that, amazing. I thought it best to assume a temporary form. This story is Forgive me. fantastic. That's all I can say about this game. Ready. It's just fantastic. Ready all the way around. What happened. 100 and you can ago. see the final boss in the very beginning. And you know you're going to make your way over there. To know Calamity Ganon's true form. One must know the story from an age-long past. Calamity. The God. Demon King was born into this. The kingdom, Demon King but was born into this palace. Created the horror. But his transformation now. into malice created the horror the that you see today. Were passed from generation Who came to up generation. with this story? I just want to shake their hand. This whole game. Thank you. Also Thank you, Nintendo. Odyssey. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear. And the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. Do, 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 we decided do. to heed the prophecy. I've been there. We began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. Guardians. This coincided with the legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred. Does anybody have a map, like a poster map of, of this game? Because I really want to get one. The only problem is the one that I saw online had all the shrines marked on it, which is pretty cool. But I don't want to see where all the shrines are yet. So after I beat the game or play through it, I'm going to get the map and hang it up. It's beautiful. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the divine. My friends, I'm going to meet them later. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. Look at that. Hyrule Castle and seize control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts and turn against us. The champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. Ganon, always get in this room. He does make for a good enemy. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely. Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. She's awesome. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. Yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be fun to continue later. We're gonna be wrapping up at about 150. Was none other than you. But thank you all for tuning in. Really appreciate it. This has been fun. We'll be here. We're gonna be doing Sims for the next wellness stream, and we'll do a Breath of the Wild roundtable, maybe for the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The 
words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. I knew I remember that voice. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. <laughs> I However, need more seeds. I need I more cool clothes too. To be exhausted. Cool clothes, cool happens? rocks, diamonds, rubies. I'll, I'll, I'll come help. Himself, I'll come help. But first, let me go find some more Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I will. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter. I'll try. Do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. I'll do my best. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. But you could if you wanted to, because this game is awesome. Out to one of the villages in the March 24th will be the same. Follow the road out to Kakariko Village. That's going to be there a fun one. We'll find the Elder Impa. She will tell you, you must more find the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shika slate for the precise location of Kakariko Village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Ah, oh, it's such a fun adventure. I love adventures. How about some of that blue flame too? That'd be cool. Hey, we did it. Thank you, sir. I will do my best. seems like a good spot to start. Thank you all for tuning in. The libraries are open. We have a bunch of resources available for you. Textbook chapters. We have laptops, chargers, long-term lending for any type of tech equipment from DSLR cameras to synthesizers. So just reach out to us. Um, it was really fun playing with all of you. Thank you for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Have a great wellness day. Have a great weekend. And we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.